how the people are doing. So, today we have the camera comparison between the Mi 11 Ultra and the S21 Ultra. Now, far as I've heard, the Mi 11 Ultra is one of the most apt competitors in terms of cameras against the S21 Ultra. We'll see how well that stacks up in photography this time around. And by the way, I've made a separate playlist for the Mi 11 Ultra. You can find it linked in the description. And if you go there, you'll find that all the videos I make regarding the Mi 11 Ultra will be present there. For now, there's only one camera comparison that I've done. It's against the XXT Pro Plus. If you're interested, check out that link and you'll find it right there. Now, now jumping right into the camera comparison, well, I gotta say the differences are fairly obvious here. The Mi 11 Ultra is overall darker compared to the S21 Ultra, which is why I actually prefer the S21 here. It's giving us better details and also the colors are very accurate on the S21, except for the sky that is. The sky has a bit too much blue, which doesn't really look all that natural, at least not when compared to the Mi 11 Ultra. Next up for this one, here, contrary to before, the differences are very minimal. Like, if you look hard enough, you might notice that there is a slight warm cast in the greens on the Mi 11 Ultra, but to be honest, it is a very minute color difference. Now, for the ultra wide shots right here, well, both of these cameras are using very different sensors. Technically speaking, the Mi 11 Ultra actually has a higher quality sensor compared to the S21 Ultra. And before we zoom in to check out details, I gotta point this out, the color difference is very obvious. The S21 Ultra is without question the one that is more natural, but do keep it in mind, both of these phones are adding a good bit of vibrance, which is why everything looks so punchy and nice, in my opinion at least. But then when we zoom in, you'll notice a fair amount of difference in terms of sharpness. The S21 Ultra really likes to sharpen and process images, and that look isn't half bad, but compared to that, I actually like how the Mi 11 Ultra looks. It has a lot of organic detail without any overprocessing or artifacts as such. I think that gives a very clean, detailed look. And yes, it's not as sharp as the S21 Ultra, but at least for me, I think the Mi 11 Ultra is the one with better detail preservation. And speaking of details, let's check out the high res shots on both of these before we move on to zoom. Now, we are talking about 108 megapixels on the S21 Ultra versus just 50. What's so surprising here is that the S21 Ultra has far better dynamic range compared to the Mi 11 Ultra. It's very obvious. You can see how much of the highlights are being contained on the S21 compared to the Mi 11. And so that's, that's definitely a very good achievement on Samsung's part to have such good dynamic range while also giving us 108 megapixel images. That's quite a feat if you ask me. But then when we zoom in, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious once again, having a 50 megapixel difference, it definitely shows here. You can see that although details are very similar across the board for both of these, the over sharpening artifacts and over processing is very much more obvious on the Mi 11 Ultra compared to the S21. But on the ultra wide cameras, well, here we do not have any high resolution modes for the S21 Ultra. It is just 12 megapixels compared to 48 on the Mi 11 Ultra. Now, the color differences are definitely present. And yes, without question, the S21 Ultra is the one that is more natural. The Mi 11 Ultra is trying to somewhat juice things up by adding more warmth to the greens. And yes, it looks flattering, but if you want the natural look, the S21 Ultra is the better one here. But upon zooming in, I think it's very obvious that the S21 Ultra has a lot of processing going on. You can see the processing artifacts, the over sharpening going on, the haloing. It's very visible in the leaves, especially in the background. And yeah, it does help with detail. Like there's a lot of sharpness you're looking at with just 12 more pixels. That is quite something that Samsung was able to bring all of this out. But compared to the 48 megapixel shot here, there's way more processing visible on the S21 Ultra. The Mi 11 Ultra takes a more organic approach, which I did mention before as well in the normal ultra wide image. I know it's not for everybody. Some might like the sharper look on the S21, but to me at least, I really like the look that Xiaomi's taken here. Now, as for the five time zoom camera, well, you can take 48 megapixel images with it. Unfortunately, we don't even have five time zoom on the S21 Ultra. We do have three times and 10 times optical zoom, so Technically speaking, you know, the versatility is going to be higher on the S21. Now, once again, the colors are more accurate on the S21, but the difference in details is just way too obvious and quite staggering, to be honest. But the same can actually be said for the S21 Ultra when we take a three-time zoom shot. 
because of the fact that it's completely digital on the Mi 11 Ultra. The S21 Ultra with optical zoom is giving us a much better image with a lot more realistic detail and sharpness. And you could pretty much say the same thing about the 10 times zoom that you're looking at here. I understand it was a bit foggy, but even so, you know, if you look at the buildings, it's a lot more crisp and the details are a lot sharper overall. Now the Mi 11 Ultra also has the problem with that magenta hue all across the image. You can see it's a lot more neutral and well balanced on the S21 Ultra. So speaking based on all the images that we've seen so far, I think color accuracy is definitely something that the S21 Ultra is taking a lead in just overall. Next up, we have 30 times zoom. I think this is essentially the limit for both of these cameras. Now the approach for both are slightly different. The S21 Ultra goes for a sharper look, which does net a tad bit of over sharpening artifacts. It's not very visible. It's really hard to see. On the other hand, the Mi 11 Ultra goes for as I've said like a thousand times already, a very organic look. Of course, we cannot forget the fact that both of these phones can go up to 120 and 100 times zoom respectively. Goddamn. Yeah, but generally speaking, don't go there because you're just gonna get an oil painting as you can see. And you know, technically speaking, if you want a sharper image, I guess that's gonna be the S21 Ultra here because it's got more sharpening put in there. Now, of course, we have our classic backlit shot right here with the studio light. Now, generally speaking, the differences are very minimal. Both are just handling the situation marvelously well. Like you can see, highlights are well controlled and the shadows are really well exposed. Details are very similar across the board. The only difference is in the white balance. This time around, the accuracy is leaning towards the Mi 11 Ultra. So contrary to majority of the images that we have seen up until now, the Mi 11 Ultra is actually taking a lead with color accuracy. The same can be said here as well. Although, if you look at the light, you'll see that the highlights are being better contained by the Mi 11 Ultra, but that does net a little artifacting, like right at the rim of where it's blowing out. You can see there's a bit of an artifact. I mean, it's not such a big deal. It was hard for me to notice initially as well. Compared to that, the S21 is blowing it out more. So overall, I think the differences once again boil down to the color accuracy with the Mi 11 Ultra leaning more towards the accurate white color of the table. But then the S21 Ultra strikes right back with macro photography. Now unfortunately, we don't really have a great macro mode on the Mi 11 Ultra. The S21 Ultra on the other hand is probably one of the if not the best smartphone out there right now for macro photography. Anyways, let us move on to portraits. Uh, well, yeah, the Mi 11 Ultra screwed up here. Trust me, this photograph was taken multiple times and this was the exact same result across the board for both of these phones. Now, I think the only downside on the S21 Ultra is a slight magenta tint that you might be able to see on my shirt. But other than that, the S21 Ultra is pulling ahead and it's a win by a huge margin on the S21. Those highlights are really well maintained. Now for a portrait outdoors, both of these were 1x zoom by the way, and here once again the highlights are just a pinch more blown out compared to the S21 Ultra on the Mi 11 Ultra. Now it's of course not that big a difference, it's very minor and it's just in the background. The shadows are very well exposed, the colors are great on both, so overall I think I'm gonna call this one a tie. Now for zoomed in portraits, well this is where the S21 Ultra pulls ahead. Remember that 3 times zoom that we had? Well, this is one of the primary use cases of having that kind of zoom. Now overall, the details are better on the S21 as you'd expect with optical zoom, but the skin tones look really weird. <laughs> like I'm looking really yellow, like you know, the jaundice type yellow. That's obviously not appreciated. The Mi 11 Ultra is doing a much better job, although in my opinion, it's leaning a bit more towards red. But still, I'd still pick the skin tones on the Mi 11 Ultra over the S21, at least in this case. But that's not all. The S21 Ultra also has night mode portraits. And that is honestly one of the best features and also one of the most underrated features on the S21 Ultra. It comes out so amazingly well and you know there are very few phones out there that can actually give us good night mode portraits. The Mi 11 Ultra doesn't have it. 
Now for selfies, well, there are two ways you can take selfies on the Mi 11 Ultra. You could either use, you know, the traditional selfie camera or you could try and squint into the tiny display behind the phone and, you know, you could use the rear cameras to take probably the best selfie that you could take on any smartphone, at least like among the ones that I've used. To be honest, the quality is like incomparable compared to the S21 Ultra. There's obviously the rear cameras are going to produce an incredible shot that the S21 Ultra's really nice selfie camera wouldn't really come close to. But now for a normal selfie on the Mi 11 Ultra, well, it is doing a great job in this case, if you ask me. You know, the highlights are well controlled on both, but the skin tones look a lot better on the Mi 11 Ultra. But I do think that the overall color accuracy and the white balance is better maintained on the S21 Ultra. You can look at my shirt or even the white in the background. And finally, details. Now, the details are quite a bit better on the S21 Ultra. If you look at the cupboard right behind me, you'll notice there's a lot of sharpness right there and it genuinely looks a good amount better. Now in a similar condition, we have a selfie portrait. And as you can see here, the Mi 11 Ultra kind of screwed up. You'll notice that a lot of highlights on my face are getting completely blown out. And overall, there is a bit of a warm cast on the Mi 11 Ultra. You can see it slightly on my shirt. It's not that big a deal, but obviously the blown out highlights are definitely not nice to see and compared to that the S21 Ultra is doing a much better job here. Now finally we have night mode selfie. Yeah this is not very good on the Mi 11 Ultra. You can see there is a ton of noise on my face and compared to that the S21 Ultra is way better. Even the detail preservation is a good bit better on the S21 Ultra. I really wish we could actually use the rear display for night mode selfies. I think then that would by default make the Mi 11 Ultra the best for night mode selfies as a whole. I don't think anything else could stand a chance really. But unfortunately we can't. But that is not all with the night modes that we can have on the S21 Ultra. Because now we have night mode selfie portrait on the S21. The Mi 11 Ultra doesn't really have it and you can see there is a huge difference here. Not just the highlights but also on my face. There is just so much more detail and so little noise on the S21 Ultra, it's really nice. Quite impressive if you ask me. Now let's move on to rear camera night modes. Well this image sets kind of like a baseline in you know the night mode images that we're gonna take. Both of these phones in normal low light conditions can perform admirably well. Honestly there is very little difference if any at all. Maybe you could say that yeah the S21 Ultra is just blowing a pinch of highlight like right at the edge of that little pot. But otherwise, whether it's details or noise reduction, both are amazing at it. A similar story for this ultra wide shot here. I do think that the similar differences that we had before in ultra wide images as a whole apply here as well, with the Mi 11 Ultra going for a more organic, less processed look, while the S21 Ultra goes for a good amount of sharpening. But then when we go to the ultra low light situations with the main cameras. Here you can see the S21 Ultra kind of screwed up with that crazy green seeping in like it looks weird and unnatural honestly. I don't know why that happened. I took this image like six or seven times. Same result across the board. The Mi 11 Ultra on the other hand it's, it's getting a slam dunk win here. Let me zoom in and you'll see why. Yeah just take a look at that artifacting on the S21 Ultra. That's definitely not nice to see and I'm kind of surprised that the processing isn't handling this as well as the Mi 11 Ultra because the Mi 11 here is doing quite a fantastic job. But unfortunately that doesn't exactly carry over to the ultra wide camera in similar conditions because now as you can see the S21 Ultra is pulling ahead with better brightness and overall better shadow detail and so on and so forth. Upon zooming in you can see that yes some amount of detail might feel a bit more realistic and less over sharpened on the Mi 11 Ultra but other than that the S21 Ultra is definitely pulling its own weight here even with a smaller sensor on the ultra wide camera it's definitely doing a great job. Now here's an outdoors night mode shot. For the most part the differences are minimal and you know both are great at these kinds of night mode situations basically. But now we can actually use the telephoto cameras or camera on the Mi 11 Ultra to take night mode shots. Now I'm, I'm really impressed by how detailed the Mi 11's 5x zoom looks. It's really impressive without question. 
And so is the 3x zoom on the S21 Ultra. It looks very detailed and very nice, but 10x zoom on the S21, it's not all that good. I think what I would presume is that the S21 is either cropping in from the 3x zoom or the main camera all the way to 10 times. at least that's what I would assume in this case. So that is the end of our camera comparison and, well you know, I think I gotta confess something. I, I feel like I have set my expectations a bit too high for the Mi 11 Ultra. I mean it's a great phone, don't get me wrong. but. It does feel like there is a bit more inconsistency to the processing of the Mi 11 Ultra because in numerous cases you saw that sometimes it was doing a great job especially with like portraits or some of the selfies right there. Other times it kind of blew out highlights you know sometimes maybe the skin tones were off and so on and so forth. So in that regard I overdid it. I expected the Mi 11 Ultra to actually win like overall against the S21 Ultra which was definitely wrong on my part, I should not have placed so much expectation for it. So trying to disregard all of that, I think the Mi 11 Ultra for what is worth which is at 70,000 rupees is definitely doing a great job and it is probably one of the best photography smartphones out right now in its price range. Now there is of course the X60 Pro Plus if you really want to talk about photography that is still like my reigning champ in the 70,000 rupees category. The Mi 11 Ultra however gets really close like ridiculously close to that but if you want the most consistent one between these two I think I'd still say the S21 is just a tad bit better not, not a huge difference to be entirely honest. So with that said, I do hope you guys enjoyed, if you did do hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't ready, and I will be seeing you guys later, cheers.